Previously in NetSuite, vendor bills were identified with a transaction date, a single amount, and a single due date. With the 2019.1 update, the installments feature allows the total amount for a vendor bill to be divided into several parts to be paid in installments. Each installment will have a designated due date. First thing is to enable the installments feature. To do this, navigate to Setup, Company, Enable Features, scroll over to the Accounting tab, go towards the bottom where it says Installments. Make sure the Installments option is checked. If not, check the box and hit Save. Once you've enabled the Installments feature, you will want to set up installment terms. To do this, navigate to Setup, Accounting, Accounting List, New. From your options, you want to choose Term. Make sure to check the Installment box to open up all your options. In the Terms field, you want to enter the installment terms. For this example, we will choose four month terms. In the Days Till Next Due field, you want to enter the number of days after the invoice date that the payment is due. You can enter any amount of days. For this example, we will choose 30. The Reoccurrence Frequency list specifies the number of reoccurring payments. You can choose between annually, daily, monthly, or weekly. We will choose monthly. For the Reoccurrence Count field, you enter the number of reoccurring payments required. In this case, we will choose four, since we chose four month terms. Since month terms were established, you want to enter one for the repeat every month field. Just below that, you can split the payments evenly between the reoccurring payments by checking the box split evenly tab. If you decide not to split the payments equally, a list of installment lines will appear where you can enter the desired amount of payment per installment. Save when you are satisfied. Keep in mind that any fields that are not supported by installments are unavailable after the installment box is checked, specifically discounts. They are not supported after this point. After you have created your installment terms, you can add the terms to an existing vendor bill or add terms when creating the invoice. We will create an invoice. Go to Transactions. Sales, Create Invoice. Scroll down and choose your item. Choose the lot. Hit Add. Scroll over to the Billing tab where you will choose your terms that we created. Below is listed the due dates and the amounts for those due dates. Hit save. If you choose to change the amount due, you can check an override installments box to make changes to your payments. You just have to make sure that the totals add up to the total amount of the invoice so that you don't have any past due amounts. If an installment payment is unpaid after the due date, the late installment for that period is marked past due, affecting the aging reports since they are now based on the due date for that particular payment. Again, go back to your billing tab to make sure that the amounts match up to the due dates.